Their, their wages have not increased, but the cost of living has increased. And so things such as gas and food, all those things have, have gone up, and that takes away from that income that you need to be able to have your child in child care while you work. Well, right now, some parents say they're spending more on child care than they are on groceries. According to the Treasury Department, one out of every six dollars in family income goes to pay for child care. That's more than the average family spends on groceries and close to double what the government calls affordable. East Tennessee families are feeling that burden. Mary Klingler talked to a mother who says it's nearly impossible to work full time with a child right now. Difficult feeling to have to sacrifice that, um, although it's important because your children need childcare. Christy Smith says she eventually found the Boys and Girls Club and it became an invaluable resource for childcare. I think for us here at Boys and Girls Club, being able to provide affordable childcare has taken our numbers uh, to heights that we hadn't seen in, in, in over a couple of years. It serves up to 500 kids across 17 locations. COO Marcus Jackson says they are one of the few places in the area to offer affordable child care at $25 per week. Our phones are constantly ringing, uh, ensuring that their child can get an opportunity uh, to have the child care that they need so those parents can work. But they're struggling too. Our biggest uh, thing through the pandemic has really been uh, trying to find employees that are willing to work. Uh, we do have some available spots, but that depends on the amount of uh, employees that we can hire. In Knoxville, I'm Mary Klingler. Lawmakers are trying to help. Vice President Kamala Harris says Congress is working on ways to cut the cost of child care by half for most families. That would save them thousands of dollars every year.